Hey everyone, Basudi Sai. Today I'm going to make a wormhole attack in NS2 using NSJ as well in Ubuntu's uh, operating system. Uh, this has been a question for a long time because we cannot find the actual answer for how we can make the wormhole attack in uh, in NS2 in YouTube or any other resource. So I thought maybe let's try to make the simulation and give you give you guys a little help. Thank you guys. Here we go. Okay, yeah, uh, this is you into here. Uh, this is the blank folder. Okay, so I'm going to open NSG first. Go to the command line terminal. Okay, so going to the CD users. All right local all right here here i have nsg here java space hyphen jar okay space copy the name of the nsg and paste it here hit enter okay so here's the msg Go to scenario, open new wireless scenario. Okay. Okay, so the basically the wormhole attack actually is the attack in between the you know the uh, let's imagine you have uh in a uh, wireless devices such as laptop, mobile phone, so many wireless devices, you know, connected with each other and they are also able to communicate with each other. Okay, so if you are if you're using a laptop and you want to send the maybe let's say the data or the photo uh, you want to send the photo to the your mobile phone okay so and the mobile phone is in the next block maybe in the neighbor okay so so the data packets will travel through the nodes it will use your neighbor's wireless device to get access to get the signal and then it will transfer or it will forward the uh, package to your uh, mobile phone who is in the other house okay so basically we have to have a couple of nodes here to make a simulation i'll just create uh let's make the nodes in random way okay so these are the words that i'm making here Is it fine? It should be fine now. Okay, so quite simple. Let's imagine you you, uh, you have node zero. It means let's imagine this is your laptop and the mobile phone which is in the other house. Okay, so you want to send the data to here. First, you need to make a TCP agent. Okay, and the TCP sync in here on the node fourteen and the application i'm going to use the ftp okay because i'm try sending the files so here okay this is the only thing that i'm going to make in here for the wormhole attack the attacker will uh, actually uh, keep their place in this strategic position let's say uh, you have a 30 meter distance in between these these two nodes okay so the attacker will imagine uh, if the attacker will stay in here the distance uh, between the sender and the attacker is closed as compared to other nodes okay so if that is closer than any other node the sender will imagine okay the node the node that is close to uh, me uh, will be able to deliver my packets faster than any other nodes uh, because of that algorithm all the data packet that will be traveled through the attacker node, uh, the wormhole tunnel, let, let's say attacker node. And when it enters the attacker node, let's make a one node in here, okay? When it enters the attacker node, this node can narrate the packets anywhere, anywhere uh, in the network, okay? Let's say uh, the attacker is also in the another location in here, 
here, let's say, okay. So node 15, if the packet goes, enters the node 15, node 15 can narrate the packets uh, through the tunnel and it will open up the packets from node 16 and deliver to the destination. So in between this tunnel, the attacker can scan your um, packets and uh, do the, you know, the spoofing and anything it can do uh, that can be harmful for you. Okay, so let's imagine node 15 and node 16 are the attacker node. So we're going to make one more on that. Okay, so I'm going to use the TCL file in here. Uh, I'm going to save the TCL file in desktop in the folder. Okay. In desktop, I have a folder name wormhole attack. Uh, let's say wormhole.tcl. Okay, so. Uh, for the time being, let's uh, do not close the command line uh, prompt and the NSG. If you close it, you will not be able to open the same thing again. So I will be opening the terminal. Another terminal. I'm going to the desktop and open the folder called wormhole. What's the name of the folder? Okay, wormhole and attack. Okay. So this is the file. Let's run in the NSC NS2, shall we? Okay. Hmm. What's the problem? It is saying there is a problem with the FTP0 and TCP0. Hmm. What is the problem? Let's have a look at in the NSC now. Okay, so the problem is we have created the TCP link, but we have not created the proper TCP link. Okay, this is my bad here. This one, um, go to, to go to the agent, click to the TCP zero and click to the sync one. So there will be, can you see the red line in here, thin line? That means the connection is established. Okay, so let's save the TCL file, TCP, TCL file again. Okay, next up, wormhole attack and wormhole TCL, replace the file. Okay, let's open it again. Uh, let's open it again. Hmm, it seems fine now. Now, if you play uh, it in the normal way, let's see how the packets travel. Okay, so right now, there's a random path is created. Node 0 is transferring to the node 15, is a, you know, as, as I said, this one is the closest one, so it will obviously send the packet firstly in the node 15, and then after it will try, it is sending to the node 8, and then node 11, 12, 13, and finally the destination 14. Okay, let's create the wormhole for the node 15 and node 16, and create the tunnel in between, shall we? I'm going to close this one now. Okay, so, uh, open the gedit and the TCL file. Okay, this is the TCL file. Okay, I have the uh, script with me. I'll just paste in here. In the meantime, you can pause the video and write the script just as I have written. There are two, there are two things to consider. The first thing is uh, the node 15. It is saying set node 15 as a wormhole peer with the node 16. And again, from the other, uh, other side, node 16 is going to be the wormhole peer of the node 15. Okay, how I choose the node 15 and 16? You can see the NSG. As we discussed before, node 15 is the wormhole of one and node 16 is the wormhole two. So accordingly, I have, I have set node 15 as a first wormhole and node 16 as a, a second wormhole on the first line and from the and for the okay this is for the you know sending the packet okay if you're sending the packet this uh, script will be in place okay so if you're receiving the acknowledgement from the destination side so when the packet sent by is sent by the destination it will first read the node 16 and then it will uh, go through the tunnel, wormhole peer tunnel and return back from the node 15, okay? So 
these are just a simple uh, script that, that you can set just I'm, I'm just setting this seven here and I will open the another terminal terminal so that I can keep the TCL file open okay so I'm going to the desktop now and I'll just run the wormhole.tcl now and let's have a look at if there is any changes we can see just hit the uh, play button in here let me just uh, play for faster okay can you see that can you see that this is amazing isn't it i mean node 0 is the source node and node 15 is the wormhole of uh, one and wormhole one is directly sending the packet to the node 16 as we have uh, mentioned as we have you know the set the node 15 and 16 as a wormhole node and there is a tunnel in between so if you want to visualize this uh, function in more clear way you can also create the line in between 15 and 16 and attach those so you can imagine that line as the tunnel okay let's have a look at that as well okay so for that i have a script with script with me so i'm just pasting the script in here so that you can have a look at the script um, pause the video and uh, just write it down if you want to it's not necessary to do in the warm holiday okay so I'll go to, go to here and I'll open the I'll run this one okay what's the mistake in here I'll just open the NS okay here yeah as you can see now you see the line in between the node 15 and 16 okay let's consider this as a tunnel and let's play the simulation now it looks more uh, you know visually visually understandable how the things are working okay so node 0 is sending the packet node 15 is the wormhole one it is receiving the packet and the packets are traveling through the tunnel in between 15 and 16 and after the 16 um, these packets are tra transferring to the node 13 and to the destination okay so the whole process in this process the attacker is able to capture your packets okay, so uh, this was the end of the video guys uh, i hope you like it and thank you guys have a good day